Hello everyone. Today's video is about the full lower frame disassembly and then reassembly of this tire L9. But before I start, I have two little stories. One, the story of how well this gun is made. As you can see, there is no pins to remove. This requires very little tools until you reach the chassis. And even so, a sample punch, even a small screwdriver will do the job. So the engineering on this gun is pretty amazing. Two, during one of my attempt to disassemble and then reassemble, the chassis I came up into a snag. My gun did not want to work. So I called Steyr USA. The next day, Jeff from Steyr gave me a call and tried to help me with all the help he had, except that morning I already fixed the problem. But known that if you have issues with it, Steyr is there to help you out. Or me online, you can always ask me questions. All right, let's start. Again, gun empty, trigger pulled, remove the slide, and then we go after the chassis. Gun on safe, push it down, remove the chassis, spring down. All this I covered it up already on my previous video. So if you have any questions about that, just go see it and you will have your answers. Okay, let's uh, remove the trigger assembly from the chassis. On the fill stripping, I suggested to push the trigger and the safety to remove the arm. That's one way to do it. The other way is just remove that pin here and everything comes out. So either or. First thing first is to remove that pin and then that pin. You have two pins, two springs, the sear and the safety lock. That's about it. But once you push out that pin here, that spring is going to want to fly away. So make sure you put your thumb or something on it. Okay. Everything slides out. Slides out. Here is one pin, and then it's still maintained by this other pin here. And that's everything. Okay, so we have another pin here one pin, one pin, two springs, and this spring retainer. And then the sear, all you have to do is move it like this. Here we go. Uh, it's not easy to show you on camera. Okay, it is sitting like this on the gun. So what you want to do is pull it and wiggle it one way or the other, and it will eventually come out. There we go. And then you have safety and the gun is totally pulled apart. See there are not too many parts. Now you can clean the entire chassis. Now it's time to put it back together. The safety goes there. Let's slide back everything together. Okay, that's it. Now, first spring to put in is the big one. And in a view of the chassis, it goes this way. This part here will go that, no, that way. And the spring will be sitting this way. It took me a while to figure out a few things and that's when I had to call Jeff at uh, Steyr USA because this little thing here I didn't see it didn't pay attention and I didn't put the spring well we'll go over it later correctly behind that pin here and the gun did not function right until I realized hey 
there is a, a small nipple here. Uh, maybe it's for something and I move the spring behind it and everything went fine. But let's go back to that spring here. Now we need to compress this spring and it's pretty hard to compress. So I've been playing with it and the best way to do it is to put a punch right here. So now you can see the part. And that is how you put the punch in. Then you are going to start that thin little pin that goes right here, okay? You put it on standby. You are going to compress that branch of the spring by putting it against the frame like this. And then by keeping the punch down, so the punch do not move, you're going to compress that part here. And if it slips, no big deal, the punch is holding everything. And then, uh, I better tell you now, in case you don't sit because my hand will be in front of the camera, is I'm going to, once everything is compressed, I'm going to push that pin here to hold everything together, but it will not hold the springs perfectly together while I move the punch, push the entire assembly down to find it back again onto that punch hole. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. All right, so, I started the pin, the spring, this way, and now I'm going to compress this spring onto the chassis, keeping my punch as low as I can. If I raise my punch, the spring will jump out. So you want it as close down as possible to the frame. And then I compress. There we go. And then I put that pin behind. So now everything is compressed together. And I'm going to remove the punch and go back into the hole to find it, to find the spring. So I remove the punch, slightly move the assembly down one notch. And hopefully I will find Yes, everything. And there we go. Okay, now that we have that retainer pin in place, we're going to push it a bit more. I'm going to push it in place. I want to... Well, for now, I guess I will leave it there. It's okay, it's just holding the, uh, the spring. I need to put in that other pin and I might have to hammer it down to find its place. So I gently pull out everything, pull out my punch and come with the pin in the place of the punch and gently push my punch out by hammering the pin. Now I have to make sure it's following my punch. So I want to give some resistance to my punch. It's just to play with it. It's just uh, most of this disassembly and reassembly is dexterity. Nothing major, nothing fancy. Just have to find the hole. My punch is not straight, it's, uh, it's been bent. So that might not help very much. There we go, I'm in. There we go. Now I can also hammer the other pin if he wants to go in. So you can see this, the spring right here in and underneath this is the other end of the spring. All right, now I'm going to move that pin a little bit out until here and same with that other pin. 
everything will still be retained. But this way I can move in the other spring sitting up this way. All right, now those two pins are retracted to as much as I can without interfering with this part here. I'm going to put in my spring in and push back the larger pin. step will be to find a home for those two ends of the spring. This long end goes right behind this notch here and this other end goes behind the notch. We can barely sit this behind here. sit down in the corner there. This is not the pin, this is the notch. So it's a bit intricate, dexterity again. And now I push the spring to close the pin on it. There we go. So I, I have the pin just holding a little bit of the spring, but then I'm going to push with my screwdriver the spring all the way down to the notch. This is very important here. If you don't complete this correctly, this slide will not be able to cycle during full rebuild. Don't ask me how I know that. That was the tricky part I had to work with. So, I'm going to push the spring down to behind the notch. And I think I am in. I have to double check closer. No, I am not in. As you can see, I'm just in front of the, the pin. It just came out. So I need to push it down and back. Now I'm fully behind that pin. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but I am, or my spring is behind that little pin here. You just have to push it with a, a screwdriver and lock it in place. And the other end will go in front, which is not in front or in the back of that. There you go, of that pusher. Now I can put back my pin here. Everything should come the other way. That is it. Beautiful. Again, the engineering of this uh, gun is just plain beautiful. You want to make sure when you push down here, everything moves, moves freely. And as I specified uh, in my previous video about cleaning the gun, you don't have to undo this because your brush can go anywhere in there without uh, anything jumping at your face. But you want to make sure this moves and that means the slide will move freely. That's where the, uh, uh, the firing pin could get into contact with the trigger through the sear. Well, let's finish it up. We need the trigger, the trigger spring. Remember, it follow the contour of the trigger. back into its hole with this pin push the trigger and the safety together then the arm will come down back to the 
slide catch. There you go. Have the safety ready to go. And I was wondering, would the gun works without the safety? Let's find out. Ugly, but if needed, I won't return the. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, it, it, it might come down at any time. Oh, it's pretty hard. It won't not go anywhere there. Now you need a pretty hard push there. So I guess you could make the gun work without the uh, the safety if needed. Interesting. All right, that was a little plus. Back to the lock to put in. Remember, I hold the uh, chassis spring here with my finger. Put this lock back in place. Turn it back to fire. And There we go. And that's it for the new frame. Well, until next time, see you guys.